stage next, welcome Dee Fretter. I didn't mean to look like this. I know I look like a really handsome, exotic, alt lesbian. But I'm straighter than I look. I'm married to a woman. She's white. Good for me. I've been accused of being a if it ain't snowing, we ain't going kind of nigga. Which I always thought meant cocaine. In which case, hey, if it's snowing, I won't be there. <laughs> Trying to live that sober life, shame on you. <laughs> I was adopted by a white family, but I don't feel like I got the full white experience because my mom cooked with spices. <laughs> I used to decline invitations from other kids to come over for dinner. I'm like, nah, your mom cooked Chef Boyardee. I don't need that peasant shit. <laughs> Hey, yo, white people, why do you always say, mm, these are dangerous when you try a new snack? <laughs> what you scared of, dog? <laughs> I like to live dangerously as well. I've talked shit about Taylor Swift online. <laughs> Swifties are terrifying, bro. I don't love anything enough to send a death threat over like Instagram or some shit. But you say 1989 was just okay, they'll come for you. <laughs> They're a toxic fandom and I ought to know. I'm a big fan of anime, but I try to keep that to myself. Cause when you're a grown man, you say you love anime, people think you got like a waifu body pillow <laughs> or a hentai collection. I mean, I do have a replica of Yuja Koto sword from when he fought Sugiro Gato in Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, but I'm not like a weirdo. <laughs> Some of my friends try to indulge me and ask me about anime, like conversational pity sex. And it's very sweet, but like, stop that. You know how stupid I feel talking about a show about a stretchy pirate that sails the high seas with a skeleton, a robot, and a talking reindeer. <laughs> so they're making a live action version of that anime. It's called One Piece. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, nerds in the audience, dope. I felt lonely for a second. <laughs> so they're making this live action. Netflix put out a BTS video, and one of the actors who plays a character named Buggy the Clown was doing like a tour of the sets. And some fans didn't like that. They were upset because he's not as sexy when he's not in his clown makeup. And I get that, you know, I feel their pain. I'd be real mad, too, if I found out I was attracted to clowns. <laughs> I get profiled a lot, not like racially, but white dudes try to talk to me about Lord of the Rings and D&D &D and shit. <laughs> One of my white friends told me that his wife said that if their daughter ever got in trouble for saying the N-word in school, they're going to send me to the principal's office. <laughs> which is some real I have a black friend type shit. <laughs> Someone throw their asses under the bus. I'm going to go in there and be like, yo, I don't even know these niggas like that. <laughs> I think this baby might be racist. Because, <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. If I saw a TikTok of, like, a little white girl calling some other little white girl the band word, which is bitch-ass nigga, by the way, <laughs> I might laugh. But I don't want to be responsible for that shit. Because I don't give out the N-word pass, not even to babies. I do call my white friends the N-word all the time. And they try to seem woke like they don't like it, but I can tell they're flattered. <laughs> They'd be like, D, stop it. <laughs> That's your word. And I'll be like, it is my word. <laughs> and I'm going to say it however the damn I please. You feel me, nigga? <laughs> All right, my niggas, you be smooth. Take care. Thank you so much.